Hey, Mud Stompers here. Today, Wednesday, the 25th of April. Um, got our first one in the ground, but every place we've stopped at, a lot of broken ones. Uh, so we got our first whole one here and everything's looking really good. We don't have a whole lot of water to walk, but I just came across this little guy. Ah! <laughs> don't, don't lose it. Yeah, those made off of, a, looks like a flake there. That's a good looking point. Good Man, that has got some good color. That is a pretty point. Oh, we'll, we'll take a dozen of those if we can get them. <laughs> All right, we're, we're just stepping onto this beach. We got a lot of stuff to look at and uh, hopefully getting back at you here in just a few minutes. Kyle here, Mud Stompers. Looks like we got something nice in the ground here. It's been a minute, so. <laughs> Let me get in there and, oh my gosh, look at see that. It? Yes. Looks like Can it's all there. That? Yep, go ahead and pull that sucker. God, that's big. What is that? Looks like a, could be a blade or a triangle or spear point. Flip to the other side, is it? Bounce work there. Let me see, I can't see very good. It's blade? making me work for it today. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of flat on one side. A big tall triangle or a blade or a spear point. I don't know. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> First one in a while, so I'll take it. So I picked it up because we don't normally film blades coming out, and I didn't think it was that good, but I found a beautiful little Adena blade. I think that's an Adena blade. I don't know. Thin as can be. Just about five minutes ago, and been waiting for Kyle to get on film. And I said I'd just show it there, and we'll pull it up in the wrap up. So nice point, Kyle. We're back on a streak here. Hopefully, we still got about an hour and a half left of sunlight, and getting ready to hit a new beach. So hope we get some more. Back at Joel, back new beach. About five minutes later, and I actually tripped, and I'm kneeling right as I landed, and I just saw a rock. But I've got an axe down here. Looks like it's it. broken, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, Where's the broken piece at? It's broken down here. Oh, we'll off the back side. Yeah. Huh? Grooved over there. I don't know. I think that's hematite. Well. <laughs> this is the same beach that one came This would have been a f pretty much a full groove axe, it looks like. I don't know what this side would have looked like, but good business end on that. Display side, I guess. That sucks, it's broken, but hey, it's been a good day so far, so I don't know if you can see that bit line is perfect. Just the back end busted off. All right, well, look for I some more. I don't think that fits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm back. Been about 15 minutes, I think, since the ax, and uh, I got another one sitting right down in front of me, and it's a good camouflaged one. I don't know how you see it. Because <laughs> I'm walking this little lip. I don't see it. I'm stuck it right down here. Oh, I can see that one looks almost almost all there. Oh, it doesn't look very high quality, but... Yeah, that's a good arrowhead. Heck yeah. Yeah! There you go. She ain't the prettiest of things, I tell you what. That's perfect, man. It's been a, it's been a good day, and there is flint all over this new beach, so already excited <laughs> all right we're gonna get back if you find some more kyle back this is gonna be probably our last stop running out of light but it won't be the last arrowhead me and joel we went out separately a couple of weekends ago and he took his brother and i took my brother-in-law out he found something nice and i found something nice we're gonna include in the video so let's go ahead and pan down to this one. Oh my gosh this is bad looks like it an arrowhead <laughs> Yeah, it sure does. Looks like there's a little tail damage, but I'm sliding everywhere. Pull that sucker up. That looks good. Oh, nice tip. Looks like maybe a little off the base there. I don't know what kind that would have been. Maybe an Adena, I guess. Looks like it's got a, a round one. bottom. Yeah, a fat one. Don't clean that guy off. Still a good-looking arrowhead, Kyle. Not picky today. <laughs> More light in color. I'll take it. We'll get back at you. It's not over yet. Um, it's been about five minutes since Kyle's. We're on our way back to the boat, and 
I got one. I can see it from here. It's just no wonder a pain to get to. Yeah, I'm gonna crawl through there and see if you can see it. Let me point my finger at it. Yep, there right there. <laughs> All right, give me a second. Uh, a little jungle gym. This is not gonna be easy. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a stem point. All right, don't hit your head. <laughs> it's a nice one. Oh yeah. Kind of real flat on one side and hump back on the other, but oh man. It's a good beach, a lot of flint out here today, but I just wish we had more light. We came out after work, so we've done all this in about two and a half hours. Not a bad day, not a bad day. We still got a couple hundred yards to go, so we may get something nicer. I doubt it. <laughs> all right, all right we'll, we'll catch you in the cleanup if, or at another one. We done been through all that. No luck, it needs to rain, but Kyle got lucky. Stick marked the spot. Shouldn't hurt get that, Kyle. Oh yeah, nice paper thin, beautiful paper thin. piece. That's the thinnest blade I have. That's a nice piece. I got lucky earlier and found this little one right beside somebody's foot track. So we're gonna keep at it and hopefully we'll find some more. Hey, clean up for Wednesday the 25th of April. Uh, good day, a lot of nice arrowheads and uh, before we kind of get started on that, so this is the one I, I went out with my brother and uh, he looked right when he should have looked left. So I had him out in front of me and I, <laughs> I looked left and I found it. So I didn't get that on video last time, but I figured we'd, we'd just keep it in the truck until we got out finally to get enough for a video so that I could show. That was a really nice one. So Trevor, if you're watching, next time you get down here, we'll get you on an arrowhead. Uh, and then Kyle which I think right before the cleanup here, he's gonna throw that one in when he was out with his brother-in-law, but wow, what a blade he found. That cortex on the top and bottom is just absolutely gorgeous, and it's kind of off of a dish flake in the back, but man, what a pretty blade. And then just everything else today, couple dinky, decent blades. I found that, I kept that with that big arrow head too. I found that out there with my brother. That was about the nicest broke one we found, that one. and this one here so these three pieces and the or the four right here they weren't with this video but we figured we'd include it and aside from that a few nice arrowheads that we did find today uh broken drill really nice blade on that one a couple broken bottoms big broken tips pottery and uh nice hematite axe actually and it's just busted all to hell back here on the bottom so uh it's whatever um, <laughs> happy it's second axe this year and only the second one I've ever found so I think 2018 shaping up to be a pretty good one for us so hey another thing uh, talk about a guy named Mike uh, Kentucky Chirk guy uh, putting videos together he kind of hunts down in our general vicinities up north of us is uh, where he lives so we wanted to give him a shout out get on it guy as soon as the river gives us some optimal levels we're going to get you out with us and uh We'll go mess around and see if we can't find a, a, a wad of these uh, artifacts here. So give the guy a look, man. I tell you what, in the creeks, he finds some wicked stuff. So Kentucky Chirk uh, guy. Kentucky Chirk guy. Aside from that, Mud Stompers out. <laughs>